Alright guys, today's video is something I think is a little bit different. It is about crossing off one of my bucket list items. So for a really long time, I've wanted to shoot a car. You know, not anything illegal or, or anything like that, but I've always just wanted to do it and never really had the opportunity to do it legally, so I've never been able to do that. For several years, I've looked into you know, getting a, a couple of buddies together and maybe pulling our money together to buy an old car and uh, be able to take an old broken car and then haul it out somewhere and shoot it and, and you know, film it. And I figured that we could uh, always buy the car, shoot it up, haul it out somewhere remote and uh, do it legally still. Then afterwards, after we've had our fun shooting it up, then we could haul it off and recoup some of the costs at the junkyard. At one point, I, I even got my coworker almost convinced. He, he had an old car that was almost dead, and I almost had him convinced to donate the car to the cause, and we would even pay him. Uh, we, all my friends and I were gonna pitch in a few bucks and, and pay him so he wasn't out. And, uh, but he ended up selling it to someone who wanted to fix it up and, and, and uh, drive it, so that didn't work out good for us. So the other day, my buddy Joe, the 500 mag buddy and the guy who also is doing the high point uh, modding project with me, he calls me up and he says, hey, are you still serious about wanting to shoot a car? And I said, heck yeah. And he said, well, my van that was, my minivan that was parked got hit by a car and the insurance company totaled it and he had the opportunity to buy the car back for like 50 bucks. And I have a, a coworker who has some private property out kind of towards the sand dunes. Just a quick side note about shooting cars on public property. Uh, that's a big no-no, it's not legal. I kind of looked into that and they said no. And we got a trailer so that we could uh, load up the car, haul it out, shoot it, and then load it back up on the trailer and then haul it back to the junkyard when we were done. After I talked with Joe about shooting his minivan, then he uh, asked me if I wanted to joyride the minivan out in the desert. And he also asked me if I wanted to joyride his old Honda Prelude that he had modded and piped out the, the hood of the car and done some other crazy stuff to it. So I said, yeah, let's let's joyride them and then shoot them afterwards. And so that's how our, our plan began. We learned a few things when, while we did this car shoot up. And uh, one of the first things we learned is that we need more cameras we really wanted to record all the different angles of shooting it and and sh uh, record the shooter shooting it and everything, but uh, we had only a certain amount of cameras and the wind was really bad. My, my GoPro actually cut out uh, some of the video where we were shooting and we should have had some better camera angles and so the footage isn't super great, but we sure had a good time doing it. So we first lined up and shot the, the van from the side. And we shot that with an AR-15 pistol in 223, a lever gun in 357 Magnum, an AR-15 in 9mm, an SKS, and I actually used a Saiga 12 gauge with a 20 round drum and some double on buck. Friend used, uh, Joe used his 500 mag revolver.
223 and the 9mm seem to just go right through the, the both sides of the van. Same with the SKS. Here, you can see the damage that the semi-auto 12-gauge Saiga 12 did to the side of the van. The 12-gauge loaded with buck did the most impressive damage on the exterior of the vehicle. But it didn't look like the buckshot penetrated much, or at least it didn't penetrate through both walls of the van. When we finished shooting the side of the van up, then we ran up and took a quick look at it. Look at that, reliability. I definitely wouldn't want to take cover inside or even behind a van during a shootout. You'd probably spring a few leaks if you did. After we shot up the side of the van, we decided to start up the van and leave it running and shoot the front of it. For shooting the front of the van, everyone used the same guns, except I swapped out my 12 gauge semi-auto for 458 SOCOM for better penetration against the engine block and the front stuff. Joe used his 500 mag and then drew his 9mm after his 5 revolver shots were done. The engine stopped running after a couple shots blew through the radiator and some into the engine block. You can see the radiator leaking out the bottom. My friend Joe wanted to get up real close with the 500 mag and shoot it, shoot the engine block and see you know what it did, but uh, my other friend Riley and I decided it was a little bit better to stand back a, a, a ways and he had his hunting rifle and 7mm uh, mag, so we both wanted to stand back. And after my friend Joe shot a few shots then he came back and, and we all shot together and, and shot the engine block as well as the, the rest of the front of the van. <laughs>